hey guys welcome back to the next video tutorial in this particular video i am going to show you that how you can generate the sha1 certificate for your android application that works with your release apk of your android application it is not a debug type of the sha1 certificate it is the release release time of the sha1 certificate so what the steps that you require let's see that so to get the final SHA1 key for your application that works with your APK file for the different maps and different APIs, you need to declare the signing configuration in your application build.creator file. So first of all, this is what the application build.creator file where you have to define the signing configuration for your particular project. But before giving the signing configuration, what we have to do, we have to first define the key store that is store password, key allies, and the allies password for our application. So let me generate the one signed apk for this particular project and let me take a one demo key store for that so it is a demo key store that is what the name i will keep the password it's the same demo key store with the s capital the allies will be the demo key store i will give the same for that so we can remember it easily the demo key store is the name that we have to assign so this is what the demo key store is the uh, key store path where i have stored at the desktop this is the password for that and the certificate required some details so let me give that details organization is also personal let me give the city the country code so these are the information by which the apk is going to be generated these are the signing information by which the apk is going to be generated so it has took the default configuration that i have just created click on the next and then you have to just set the release it is a release type of a build type and you have to give the destination of this particular apk so let me select the destination it is inside the app of this particular project so don't bother about it just okay click on the finish so it will start generating the apk file for our project with this particular signing configurations so just wait for few minutes it will generate your apk so this is it what it has generated the general signed apk for our application with our given credential of the signing configuration now what we have to do we have to define this signing configuration in our application build.gradle file so just i am just closing this up and just uncommenting this section so this is how where you have to define the signing configuration this is where inside the android section the default configuration are this one the requirements of the minimum and all this and where you have to define the signing configuration the release configuration are is as follows so stored file the location of the file that we have to give so just copy this particular string from over here cancel it and i will give the stored file location over here with this okay so this is the single slash everywhere so i have to provide the single forward slash So this is where the particular file is there the jks and the store password that we have to specify it over here is the demo store yeah a nice name that we have to give that we can easily copy from this Spot our allies name and the password is the same as this. Yeah, so this is what the configuration that we have to do in our build dot applications build dot creator file. Now just click on the synchronize now and it will start synchronizing our cradle with this particular project. Wait for the few seconds. So it has completed this particular procedure and now we are ready to generate our sh1 certificate about this particular project so what we have to do we have to just open the command prompt so click on this one start your cmd and go inside the particular 
Java section. So this is what our first step is completed now. To get the key, uh, the details with the help of the Java key tool, what we have to do, we have to open the CMB that what we have actually do. Go to the Java bean and tools. So you have to move to the location where your Java is it's there. So let me move to that. Files. also let me check the tools are there or not so G, K, yeah here is the key tool that is stands in the bin directory so I think uh, you does not go need to go inside the tools you just can easily go inside the Java and bin then you will find out that particular key tool so let me just check it is working or not yeah these are the commands that we can use with the particular key tool so what we have to do next we have to give this particular information or give execute this particular command to get the SSH event certificate that is what the key tool list it will list out this particular all the thing then the key store the path to that particular key store we have to specify the location over here allies we have to give the allies name then we have to give the store password and we have to give the allies password over here so this is what the string that we require to copy from this location and i will just paste it over here and i will provide all the things now so let me go to the main path location this is where i have to define the path and let me change to this one so i can easily get the path from over here so path is at this particular location in user so store.gks this is what the particular file key store path specify the key store password so we give that the key store password and again I have to specify this particular password so this is what the whole string that we have to pass it over here let me okay yeah this is what the key to list the key store the location of the key store will be this the alice name will be the demo key store the store password is the demo key store and the key password is the demo key store I just hit the enter okay so key store was tampered with all the incon incorrect password so i think the key store password is wrong so let me check and this is what the store password okay now let me try to hit the enter again it is giving me the wrong so okay again it is wrong i think i forgot this one so Okay, it's giving me the very wrong, so I think I have to change that demo store. Okay, yeah, demo store is the good that is what the password that I have used to for the store, and this is what the configuration that we have done with our APK. So just change our store password over here that we have used and just synchronize your APK file now and here we have get this particular all the information about the APK and the SHF and certification so this is what the allies name is the demo key store creation date 23rd September that is just two red days entry type is the private key entry certification change lines is the one owner that is my name and the personal personal whatever the information that I have provided it is over there the validation is for the 25 years i think it is up to the 2041 certificate fingerprints are here so you can get the md5 sg1 sh8256 signature algorithm name and the version that by which the certificate is generated all the information are here so this is what the sh1 key that you can have for your particular apk file what you have to do select all just hit the enter so your things will be copied just go inside some 
text on the word file and copy this all the things so here are the things that we have used in our cmd now from here you can easily access your sh1 certificate so this is how you can get the sh1 certificate or sh1 key of your android application apk to register on the various api to work with your released apk file that is what they needed so thanks for watching this video and please subscribe to our channel to get the more information about the android application development Thank you very much.